Hi doctors, my name is Ahmad Hanami. I am a member of Royal College of Edinburgh, Glasgow and England. As nowadays we can see, many dentists are interested in orthodontics, but in the same time it's very difficult for them to understand biomechanics, which is a very important aspect of any orthodontic treatment. Because of that I decided to launch this series to explain many essential important topics and its clinical application in biomechanics, hoping it will help a lot of the future orthodontists to understand the biomechanics with a better way. Thank you. Today we will talk about moment of couple to moment of force ratio. In the beginning we will try to explain some expression which is very important. Number 1. Force is the effect that caused an object in the space to change in its place or shape. Center of resistance. It is a point which the line of resultant of force vector intersect the long axis of the tooth, causing translation of the tooth. The center of resistance of the single rooted teeth is on the long axis is approximately from 24% to 35 of the distance from the alveolar crest. The center of resistance is completely different than the center of the mass. Center of mass is a balance point of the free object in the space under the effect of the gravity. But tooth is not a free object. Tooth is restrained object with predontal and bony structure. Therefore, center of resistance must be considered as a balance point of restrained object. Center of resistance is a unique for every tooth. It depends on many factors. Number of roots, level of alveolar bone, length and morphology of the root. The center of rotation is a point around which the tooth rotate. The location of this point dependent on the force system applied to the tooth. This is moment to the force ratio. Moment is a tendency for the force to produce rotation or tipping of the tooth. The value of this moment determined by multiplying the magnitude of the force by perpendicular distance. By this way, the moment can increase if the perpendicular distance would increase or the force increased and vice versa. Because of that, when we apply a force on the center of resistance, there is no moment and the tooth will not rotate. Couple. When we have two parallel force of equal magnitude acting in opposite direction, no matter where the couple is applied, this object will rotate around the center of resistance. How we apply this principle in different type of tooth movement? Tipping movement. When we apply the force to the bracket on a round wire, the tooth will tip around the center of rotation, which is close to the center of resistance, located in the middle of the root. The moment of the force is called uncontrolled tipping. This movement caused by the moment of the force. This force will move the crown and apex in different direction. This movement called uncontrolled tipping, and the moment of couple to the moment of force will be zero. Here we can see the power chain over around our wire which is completely wrong. Then we will move for control tipping. Now we will move for control tipping. If we change the round arch wire by rectangular arch wire and we start to apply a distal force, the tooth will tip distally and known as control tipping. In this condition, the center of rotation will move epically and the tooth will tip around greater radius. In this condition, the moment of couple will increase but is still less than the moment of the force. Translation movement. When a counterclockwise moment is increased to the equal moment of force, both moments will cancel each other and no center of rotation will be exist or it will be in the infinity and the tools will move badly without any rotation and the moment of couple in this condition will equal to the moment of force. Root movement. When a counter clock moment is increased even more to overcome the moment of force, the tools undergo the root movement and in this condition the center of rotation will move to the crown and in this condition the moment of couple will be more than the moment of force. So, 
If we want to move the tools properly, we have one of two system. Number one, if we apply the force on the center of resistance, the tools will start to move badly without any tipping, but clinically it is little bit hard. The second option that we have, if we start to make a moment of cable equal to the moment of force by adding a rectangular arch wire to the bracket slot, it will cancel the moment of force and the tools will move badly, which is more easy to apply. As we can see in this patient, by adding a rectangular arch wire, the moment of couple will cancel the moment of force and in this case the T's move bodily movement without any tipping. And in the end I would like to thank all of you for watching and see you soon.